In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a text which shines. It looks really good and this material can be used on any object. We're going to start by creating a new project. So from the file menu, to new and then reload started file. This is the default scene in Blender. The default object is the cube. We don't want the cube, so delete it by pressing X and then delete. Now over here, select the create tab, come down and then select text. This adds a text. Now zoom in for a better view. Now you're going to rotate the text by pressing R, then X, then 90, then enter. Now you're going to change the text. So come in the edit mode. Now change your text. Now I'm going to write shine. After changing your text, come back to the object mode. Now drag out this panel. And select the object data button. Change the extrude value to 0.07. Change the depth value to 0 0.02 and change the resolution to 5. Now press Alt C and select Mesh from Curve Meta Surf Text. Now go in the Modifiers tab and then select Add Modifier and then Edge Split Modifier. Then click the Apply button. Now go in the orthographic view using the view menu and then in the front view using the view menu again. Now in the create menu again, select plane to add a plane. Scale it by pressing S, then 100, then enter. Zoom in for a better view. Now using the blue arrow, move your plane just below the text. Now select the text by right clicking on it and then go in the materials tab then click new now change the blender render to cycles render and select use nodes button change the surface type to glossy Make sure the roughness is set to 0.2 and change the color. I'm gonna use a green color. Now select the plane and click new. I'm gonna use a default material. Now select the text by right clicking on it and go in the compositing section and check the use nodes button. Now in the add menu, Go in the filter and then select glare node and then move this node between the render layers node and composite nodes. Change the angle offset to 30 degrees and go back to the default view. Now go in the right view to the right to the view menu, select the lamp. Click use notes button, change the size to 2, change the strength to 1700. Move the lamp in front of the text by using the green arrow and bit down using the blue arrow. Go in the front view, press shift D to duplicate the lamp and then in the x-axis move the lamp to the other side. Now go in the camera view using the view menu, then press N, then lock the camera to view. Now you can set up the camera view by zooming in, panning the view. Now go in the walls tab, change the color of the wall to a black color. Now save your project in the file menu. Select the directory and name your file. I'm going to name it shine.blend. Now go in the render section and in the samplings menu, change the number of samples to 250. The more the samples, the greater is the quality of the image. Now click on the render button. 
Now this will take some time to render. So I'm going to pause the video before it's finished. This is the view after completing the render. You can see the text is shining and has a distinct image. So let's save as image and then save your image and click save as image. You'll notice that the text looks very shiny and it also looks very good. The plane has also lit up and this looks good and adds a new feature to the text. This concludes the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and leave a comment.